Hello, grandchildren. Um, last time I talked to you guys, I think I was freaking out about writing my film, which seems kind of ridiculous now because tomorrow I film it and I have a lot more things that I should be freaking out about than the script. So one really cool thing that's happened since I've talked to you guys is Skylar came to Australia, which is awesome. It was kind of poor timing because I was in the middle of my production period for the film and uh, she was gonna be here for a week. But honestly, it was one of the best things that could have happened right then. Because normally you're freaking out about everything that could go wrong and everything that's not done yet and you just have a lot to do. And on top of that, I've just been alone this whole time that I've been in Australia. So having the love of my life come all the way across the world to come spend a week with me, while uh, a little bit difficult because I had a lot of stuff to do, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm really thankful that it got to happen. And it was a good excuse to take some breaks instead of just working the whole time, so we went up to see the Blue Mountains, uh, we got to go see a concert at the Opera House, uh, I got to take her to go find her first kangaroo, which was incredible, and I just got to find out what it would be like to live with her for a week, and it was great. And then she left, so uh, I was all alone again, which is awful, and uh, now I have to make my movie. Five people total wanted to audition for my film. And, 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 that, and that five people is split between two characters. This is my major project. Uh, this is the last one that I'll be making at film school with my film crew. Uh, it's supposed to be the biggest project that we ever do. It'll be my final student film, and every teacher tells us that this is gonna be the film that gets us jobs. I, I only had five people that accepted uh, my request to come into audition. I ended up with three grandson characters that came into audition, and two grandfather characters, and uh, somehow, I don't know how, I got incredibly lucky. And I found two actually really good actors that looked similar. There was still a lot of work to do aside from that. Um, I had to be the assistant director for Kyle's film, which uh, we just finished now. It took an entire week. And to be a good assistant director, uh, you can't work on your own film. There's, it's impossible. I don't know why I was scheduled to be an AD for Kyle the week before I filmed, but I'm... I, 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 so essentially this entire past week I've put all of my resources towards making sure Kyle's film turns out alright and uh, nothing towards mine. The day before the first shoots happened, we hadn't even filmed anything yet. I came into school and everyone honestly looked like they had been in a war. Everyone was losing their minds. Everyone. Like this, the, the amount of pressure that you have to put on yourself in order to actually make something, because most people never make anything. So if you want to make anything, you have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. And the amount of pressure that we were all putting on uh, ourselves, uh, you could just feel it in the room, this like, this thick weight on everybody. It's like 6 o'clock or something in Sydney right now, in the evening. I'm filming tomorrow morning, and I technically don't have a, a, a permit to film with. The entire National Park Service of Australia seems to not want to talk to anyone today. We've been try literally trying to call all day and no one can get through. We just get put on hold for hours. At the moment, I don't know if I'm legally allowed to film. Um, we're supposed to have a permit by now, but haven't gotten anything. And on top of that, there's a few props that I still haven't managed to find anywhere in Sydney. So I need to, actually right now, I should be going out looking for those props. God, I swear. There are no birds anywhere in the world that are as loud and noisy as Australian birds. I've never been this stressed out. I'm making the last film that I will ever make at school, and this is supposed to be the film that will get me jobs and give me a career. And that's a lot of pressure to be put on, on a person. <laughs> like, to have one thing that you have to do that will literally kind of make or break at least the beginning of your career. If this doesn't go right, I'll just... I'll be on my own, and I'll have to try to make another one, but without all the resources and the people that the school gives us, which seems impossible. And I should be more stressed out, but I think the best thing that I've realized over the past couple weeks, when I see everybody in the school panicking, and freaking out because everything is going wrong in all of our films. Everyone in my class, we've been together for like two years, and we're all trying to do the same thing. And I've seen people who are struggling, and they ask for help, and immediately the entire class 
or almost everybody in the class, stops what they're doing and helps that person. I mean, I'm still stressed out, don't get me wrong. This is, uh, it's a lot. But I'm really glad that I have the, all of the people who are in my class that are I know are there to support me, and my crew is incredible. I have a great cinematographer, and a just, yeah, a great crew. And even though I know that things are gonna go wrong, things are gonna go very wrong, inevitably, I'm not worried that we're not gonna figure it out, which is really nice. And I don't think I've ever had that before. Which is kind of weird, because when you start making films, you think that this is entirely about you, and that this is your vision, and, and you're, you're the one that makes or breaks this. Which I think that's true still, in, in a certain way. But also, I don't think that anybody who's a director today could do what they do without the people that are around them. Anyway, I have a lot of shit to do. I've got to go get props. Uh, oh no. I also need to get part of the costume. I need to schedule everything. It's just chaos tonight, but um, yeah, I've got to go. Um, I'll talk to you guys sometimes next week. If you see me anytime in the near future, we should not make a movie because that's really stressful. We should, we should uh, go get donuts. We should go find somewhere really nice, like a nice view, and buy donuts. I've got to go, but I'll talk to you guys next week.